There are millions of definitions, thousands of definitions of poetry. But here I have selected a few definitions for you and I'm going to explain each one of them in detail. So let us take the first definition. And the first definition is concise Oxford Dictionary. This dictionary defines poetry, the elevated expression of elevated thoughts or feelings in metrical form. Look at the elevated expression. Elevated, you know, elevated means heightened, something lifted up of higher quality. So here it means elevated expression means that in poetry, our expression of ideas is done in the best possible manner, in the highest possible form. That is the point, elevated expression of elevated thoughts or feelings. Look, in poetry, not only form is important, not only the highest degree of form is important, highest level of expression is important, but also highest level of your thoughts, highest level of your feelings. When I say highest level of thoughts and highest level of feelings, it means that you must think something about very deeply, sincerely. So in poetry, according to this dictionary, what do we need? We need elevated expression highest form of expression. Thereafter, we need elevated thoughts or feelings. That is the highest level of thoughts or feelings. And all of these must be arranged in metrical form. Metrical form is musical form in a rhythmical manner. Now we go on to the next. A. E. Houseman describes poetry is not the thing said, but a way of saying it. Look here, ideas are important, no doubt. But in poetry, the idea is not that much important as the way of saying the idea. That is to say, the matter is not as important as manner. The content is not as important as style. According to this man, A. E. Houseman, he says that poetry is not the thing said. Poetry is not about matter. Poetry is not only about meaning. Poetry is not only about content. Poetry is about way of saying it, way of expressing it, way of writing it. That is to say, the style of poetry is very important. In the manner you write, that way of expression is very important, according to A. E. Houseman. I love this definition very much. William Hazlitt, a very famous person in literature, he says, Poetry is the language of the imagination and the passions. What is poetry? The higher you think, the higher we imagine. The deep you think, passionately you think, the best poetry can come out of it. So according to this man, poetry is the language of the imagination and the passions. William Wordsworth, a very famous poet of England, defines poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in tranquility. There are some difficult words. No problem. I will explain. Look at spontaneous. Spontaneous means natural. Something coming out itself without a lot of effort. Overflow means full of. Recollected means you recollect something, means bring back to your memory. In tranquility, tranquility means peace. According to William Morseworth, he says, what is poetry? He says that poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. Look here. Poetry is something that comes naturally, that happens naturally, that is created itself. You cannot, you cannot create poetry by way of thinking or by way of making a lot of effort and so on and so forth. No, if poetry has to happen, it must happen naturally, spontaneously, without being so much conscious of what you are writing about. That is to say, it is a natural phenomenon. As you breathe, as you sleep, as you walk and something we do very spontaneously in our life in the same manner if you want to write a great piece of poetry the ideas must flow spontaneously naturally without making so much effort upon your mind and thought this is the number one point second point powerful feelings as a poet as a person if we don't have powerful feelings about something about an event about a situation you cannot express at all very, very passionately. Recollected in tranquility. William Morseworth says that. Look, all ideas are not important for poetry. Only a spontaneous overflow of power feelings 
is not important what is more important is that all those powerful feelings must be recollected must be brought back to memory in peaceful moments of time